As someone who has treated trauma for over 20 years, I've discovered how life tests us. See if you can pass these tests I call living in the real world. A wise man once said that the degree to which we are enlightened is shown by what we say when we hit our thumb with a hammer. My question to you is, when life hits your thumb with a hammer, or any other part of you, what do you say? This is a hammer. This is my thumb. I promise you, this did not show up until this morning. Kind of a perfect prop, though. The story I told you at the beginning is an outline for what happens when we're rolling along in life and everything is fine. We're kind, we're thoughtful, only good words come out of our mouths, only good deeds come out of our bodies. And then life hits us. We get cut off in traffic or someone gets sick or our spouse leaves us or something really crappy happens. And when that happens, that's the test. That's the hammer test. So what happens when people are well regulated is that they're going to say, ouch, they're going to say, ouch, and then whew, they're going to recover. They're going to find their mind again, and then they're going to be able to roll. And if you're traumatized, you go one of two ways. One, you blame, you blame the hammer or you blame the other people, the Democrats, the Republicans, people of a different color, a different persuasion. You like to blame. I like to blame inanimate objects. I like to stay true to the hammer itself. Or you can go the other way. And you can blame yourself. Something I did made my parents not like me. That's a really common one for traumatized people. Constantly trying to people please because you know that there is something about you that is so unacceptable that if you don't respond with constant vigilance, they're going to reject you, and it's all your fault. I would encourage you to move from either blaming yourself or blaming other people to just saying, ouch, that's the hammer test. Stay tuned for more tests to see just how healthy you really are.